Well, NBC4, proud media sponsor of the African American Male Wellness Initiative. The walk is on August 11th, but there are a lot of events that are leading up to it. One of them is called the Barbershop Talk, Real Talk, Real Men. We've got Chavez, Anthony, and Chad with us today to talk about all of this. We Now, we had some people in last year, and we went over this. Mm -hmm. um, the importance and the target of this, this audience, it cannot be understated. So why is it just so important for you guys to talk about just overall wellness, taking care of yourself? Well, the reason why it's so important is because what we've come to find with the African American Male Wellness Initiative is that black men work better in groups, for okay. one. We also know that um, normally we're not interested in going to a psychologist or a doctor to talk about our problems, <laughs> but what we will do is go to the barber shop mm -hmm. and we'll tell our barber everything from our financial, relationships, all those things happen in the barbershop. So that's why it's important to now take mental wellness professionals, put them in this environment so we can really create solutions for our community. And we find the numbers of people actually going to the doctor and, and getting things sorted out, they're pretty low. Yes. yes. But now they're raising. They're, they're all raising. getting higher. Yeah. <laughs> we like to hear that. Yes. We do like to hear that. Now they're that. raising, yes. Well, but it gives an opportunity for an organization like Columbus Area mm -hmm. to use a non-traditional approach to reaching men. Uh, where you know you're relaxed in your barbershop, you're relaxed in a setting where just casual conversation, and then we can bring people in for the services they need through this kind of process. So let's talk about the the barbershop event. So what's going to be going on? What can you expect? Who do you want to come? We want all men to come out. Uh, one of the things that we're we're really trying to look at is ways to destigmatize mm -hmm. the silence of mental health. Uh, most of us are suffering with something, so this is an opportunity to just kind of come out and see that you're not alone and there's no more time to suffer in silence. So anyone is welcome to come out. We particularly want men to come out, particularly mm -hmm. to come out and sit in a room with other men and talk about your issues. Yeah. Because it's amazing the outcome that can happen yeah. from just talking about all of this. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen some incredible things happen just because of this initiative? Absolutely. This is the second year in Columbus of doing this uh, and setting through the breakout sessions and seeing the follow-up that comes afterwards. It's one thing to have a great crowd and have people come out, but to see people actually come in for care, mm -hmm. come in for services afterwards, and help identify with depression, help to identify with issues of irritability, you know, how to work mm -hmm. through those kind of problems. So we're seeing people take advantage of that. And Chavez, what has your experience been with all of this? What do you like about it? Uh, my experience is me being a barber. Yeah. And You it, hear all the stories. I hear it all day, every day. And for... Community organizations like Columbus Area and then the National African American Male Wellness Initiative to come to the barbershop so we can make a difference because us as barbers, we hear men's problems all day, every day, but we never had any solutions for them. Mm -hmm. So now when we partnership with community organizations and then um, healthcare organizations, it gives us a way to give men results and give men ways to open up. And then the problems that we have, this is a way to solve them because in the barbershop, we talk about everything, good and bad, but now we're able to talk about mental wellness and mental health and able, able to give men a positive, like a positive way out their situation. So this is awesome. Right, you never had any idea that you'd need a degree in psychology to <laughs> be a barber, right? No, ma'am. Um, as barbers, you know, we, we are psychologists and we, we wear many hats and this is just helping us be better for our community because yeah. overall in the barbershop that what we, that's what we do we touch our community and this is the best way we can do it and I'm, I'm excited well Very I love it I'm it. glad that you're gonna be a part of it I'm glad that it's happening I love these outside of the box approaches in order to bring people in because it can it's just so difficult yeah. to, to get anybody to try and take care of themselves all the yeah. time but again barbershop talk it's happening this Thursday at 530 it's at East High School on East Broad Street we do have more information on our website at NBC4I.com so we will be sure to do that.